Um, I really like how tight knit our friendship groups are because I feel like in college everybody just goes home once they finish, but here everybody stays because their friends are here. So there's like definitely people to talk to all the time. Yeah, I think like the comparison to college and sitcom, sitcom just seems a lot more friendlier. Um, the fact that like when school ends at three o'clock, it doesn't really end. Like people stay here way past like the actual time that we're supposed to stay here. So I think that, 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 that's what makes it better than anywhere else to study. Yeah, and that's the benefit of having smaller class sizes and because the ratio of teachers to students is much, uh, is much more teachers so that you just get, you get, if anything goes wrong, you get looked after a lot better for it now. And it's much quicker to act on, on things. It's also really easy to find teachers in there like freeze because it's such so small, especially with COVID this year, we're limited on the classes. You can literally go to a teacher in any of their like your freeze and ask them a question. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, thought, I thought it was really good. I had lessons every day, every lesson basically. I think, is there a... I think our teachers care a lot more than they would in college. Like, I think there's also they, like personally. quite a lot of good communication between teachers. So like personally through lockdown I did struggle quite a bit towards the end just because there was no motivation from teachers nagging at school. I just didn't get that at home but, but I had um, Members of staff from sixth form, non-teaching staff, messaging, supportive, just trying to boost everyone up and communicating that with your teachers as well, just so they're all on the same page. Time to table interventions. Yeah, teachers seem to, to really care about your like how you're doing at school. They're really aware of everything. Yeah. 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 And if you ever have like a bad midterm, they well, they don't force you, but they make me do this timetable intervention, which is basically they take your freeze and say, look, go and do that work. And at the time it's like, oh God, they're actually making me do more work than I need to do. But it's 100% worth it. It's an incentive as well to... Yeah. to and it's nice to know they want you to do well yeah. as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Mr. Booth has in, in his office, he has like a whole, uh, like, tack board of everyone, of everyone on it. So he knows what grades we have and what we want to get. So he knows the mood, like the motivation that we need to try and achieve the grades that we want. And does that reward you? No, I, th I think it's good. It shows that you have people that want you and like want to motivate you to achieve that specific grade. Yeah. You feel like someone's rooting for you. Yeah. And you feel like they're all there to help you as much as they possibly can. Okay. And it's not a pressure. It's almost like a support. And like you're not doing it on your own. Yeah. yeah it might. It might. It might feel like in an exam, you are. You are left to your own your own devices in the exam, but that lead up is very much it feels like a team effort yeah. with teachers supporting you and getting you to that point. Well, really, teachers have really supported me, and I have like been struggling a little bit with the language, obviously, and understanding every word, for example, in biology, and they have just like had spare time to talk to me uh, by myself and really making me maybe like sheets where they translated the words to Spanish and just explained them to me in more, more detail. And I just think there's, all of the teachers really care about students here. And that's something that we don't really have in Spain. So at college, you're kind of stuck in Truro and you can't go home unless you drive. But here, for me, on my first year, it was very much, I'd finished school at like 12 o'clock, stay for an hour, get some work done, and then just go home. And it was like a half day and it really broke up for me. And there were days where like, I'd have a full day of learning, it'd be exhausting because when you come to sixth form, for some reason, if you have more than three lessons in a day, it feels like it's impossible. Really I don't know how any of us think you're on the same page. I don't know how you I think I dropped a day. subject last year because I had five lessons on a day. <laughs> I can't believe I did. I was doing 11 subjects. <laughs> I, it, I hate to say it, but it is a lot more. The it's step from GCSE to A-level is huge. Yeah. And I've spoken to quite a few members of staff as well. When you go back to uni, they say it's like another drop down. Because A-level is just, it does feel impossible some days. I'm not going to deny it. Because when you get it, trust me, you'll feel it. <laughs> well, some subjects are content heavy, and they'll be the ones yeah. which are really And like, you have to keep on top of it, which is draining in itself because it's a constant but you have these people that are on freeze at the same time that you may not do the same subjects as but they're like oh come on we'll go to the shop and we come back and then you do another hour of work and it's like i needed that and do you think that's quite helpful yeah, i also think that freedom with to me, and both, me and carla both do art and it's the time management because art outside lesson there yeah, you have to do a lot more 
than a yeah. normal subject, obviously, because it's time consuming, especially if you're a slow drawer like me. <laughs> so it's just learning on time management and learning to balance your subjects rather than trying to do the same as working out that balance.